Welcome to Building an HO Layout, episode four. It's gonna be a short one, but it's gonna be a good one. Let's get started. And in this video, we're gonna be going over how to balance your track. This is gonna be the bend that we're gonna be balancing today. In the end, hopefully we get a nice result like this. For the ballast, I'm going to be using Woodland Scenics Fine Ballast, the gray blend. I went with this blend because it looks most realistic with HO layouts. So to start out, my method is pretty much just putting ballast down the center of the track and making sure that I'm not putting too much. Now using a small brush, we're just going to kind of push the ballast from the center to the sides naturally so it kind of falls and makes a more realistic look. If you're curious on where to get these brushes, you could get a pack of them at the Dollar Tree and they work perfectly fine. And so here what I'm doing is I'm using the brush to kind of push up the fallen little excess ballast so it's not kind of spread out everywhere. Now using this tap method, you could get all the ballast off of the ties. Now when ballasting, it's pretty much just taking your time and making sure that everything's even, flat, and realistic. Here I'm just kind of picking up some of the extra ballast where I think there's a little too much. And using the brush, we kind of put everything back in its place. For the glue, I'm going to be using Scenic Cement by Woodland Scenics through a pipette. So when it comes to gluing, you obviously want to get the center parts to make sure they're glued down. Now I highly suggest that you start from gluing from the top to the bottom. It makes the process a whole bunch easier. Now it's pretty much just a matter of repetition and making sure that you glue down every single spot. Here it is all glued up. It does take about 12 to 18 hours to dry, I would say, and it does go a lot faster if you use a fan. And here's what it should look like in the end. Um, this is the other side that I have already ballasted. And obviously like ballasting here will be done later on once the pink foam is covered up with some dirt or maybe some other ballast. And here's kind of an overview of what we got left. And I do want to mention before the video ends about switches. Now, when it comes to switches, it's a matter of just taking your time. Don't get ballast in the switch. It won't work. <laughs> I appreciate you guys watching. And if you want to see future videos in the future, please like and subscribe. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.